Albert Einstein once said, if you can't explain it to a six-year-old, you don't understand it yourself. But what about a 12-year-old? Harrison Ramsey, H, is on a mission to eradicate meaningless business speak and wants to know what the guest does for a living. If the guest clearly describes their craft or job, they win. If not, they'll have time to further explain and will know that they need to hone in their pitch. Hi, my name is Kevin Ray. I am the co-host of The Late Nights Podcast and the co-owner and producer of Bookshop Media. And I'm about to face the H. Let's see how it goes. You have one minute. I'm Harrison Ramsey. Hi, Kevin Ray. It's great to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. So, what did, what do you do? I am uh, the co-host of The Late Nights Podcast, a podcast where we talk about video games, books, movies, and occasionally life stuff. I am also a uh, producer and co-owner of Bookshop Media and Entertainment Network, where we um, broadcast some creative talent and uh, show some shows that uh, center a little bit around nerd culture and uh, just try to pretend, uh, provide some entertainment value uh, for our, our viewers and our fans. Um, so about the podcast, mm -hmm. what, like, what kind of things? You talk about um, video games and stuff like that, but what kind of like video games? Uh, we talk about uh, often old video games, new video games, uh, some AAA rated titles that come out, indie titles. Um, I believe we've talked about uh, Lumini, which was a scrolling, a side-scrolling uh, puzzle adventure game. We've talked about everything. So you have a podcast on video games, books, occasionally life stuff, or lifestyle mm -hmm. and stuff. Yeah. Um, and we also do movies as well. Um, the life stuff is usually my adventures and conventions and things that are going on with my life. Video games are vintage, old and new. Uh, books are stuff that I've used to read or read currently. And uh, it's essentially what we talk about. It's nerd culture stuff. Um, so are you a nerd? I am a huge nerd. Uh, I brought my stand in uh, just in case like things went wrong. I could, uh, I could leave him here and uh, run, but uh, you know, it's cool. So, um, what what would you describe a nerd as? Um, you know, a nerd a long time ago was a different, you know, geeks and glasses, but nowadays it's anything um, really relating to pop culture. Um, if you're into fantasy, supernatural, sci-fi, it's pretty much a very broad genre now. If you're into video games, books, or uh, movies, you're a nerd of some fashion. Everyone's a nerd at heart. So, uh, you would call anyone a nerd? I would call anyone a nerd that wants to be a nerd. If you want to be part of the culture, you're always welcome to the culture, and I feel like my podcast has been pretty welcoming to uh, people of all walks of life. Um, and what was your other job? Uh, Bookshop Media. It's a, uh, it's a network uh, for entertainment, and uh, we, we produce shows and uh, put them up for, uh, for our viewers. Awesome. Mm -hmm. uh, what, what makes you, uh, your business special? I feel like what makes my business special is the ability to relate to my, uh, my viewers, my fans, and uh, my subscribers. It is a community that we wanted to build, and I feel like through the medium that we're choosing, we have the ability to bring that community together and uh, form a bit of solidarity. If your fans like what you're doing, then your business will grow. So what was your favorite, uh, what's your favorite video game? My favorite video game is probably Dragon Warrior 3. It was back on the Nintendo Entertainment System a long time ago, but uh, most recently probably Rogue Legacy, uh, which is a uh, platforming dungeon exploring game. Uh, book? Book? I love the Harry Potter series, can't get around it, but uh, Dragons of a Fallen uh, Twilight is uh, written by Margaret Weiss and Tracy Hickman. It was probably one of my favorite series in the Dragonlance. And movie. And movie? Mmm, Zootopia. Can't can't get around it. Zootopia was super good. I like that movie too. Yeah, you just can't you can't get around how great Disney did with that. They um, did great with tons of movies. El, um, not Elsa. Frozen was great. Mm -hmm. um, Zootopia was great, mm -hmm. and uh, the new Star Wars was even really good. Sure, and For, from Disney, I thought they very. They impressed me very much. Yeah, and I was really glad to see Disney get back to their old animation roots with Princess and the Frog, and I feel like they've taken what they learned in the past with that movie and has put it forth to a lot of their, their current movies. So that's the kind of stuff we talk about uh, in our movie section is, is so where movies are going. What, were one of, what was one of your biggest heroes when you were little? Um, besides my mother, um, I would have to say The Incredible Hulk. That guy was awesome. Uh, I uh, 
I just liked how he was uh, a very complex character. And uh, a lot of my other heroes came from fantasy novels. Um, typically the, the view of like right and wrong, good and evil, and uh, standing against the darkness was always a really uh, powerful motive for me. Great, and you've grown up to be like the Incredible Hulk. Yeah, sure, big. Strong. Yeah, big and strong and, you know, never angry. Never. No. So, it's, uh, it's kind of what I do. Like I said, nerd culture stuff, all about it. And, uh, you know, I'm not, I'm not getting away with it. I feel like if you, if you enjoy what you do, you never work a day in your life, and I don't work. I still enjoy what I do. Great. It was great to have you on the show. Hey, thank you very I much. Appreciate I appreciate being here. I felt Kevin did a great job, uh, very, uh, I, I would give him a nine. Just his tone of voice, his enthusiasm of being on the show was pretty amazing. Myself, I would consider myself a jock. I'm not anything near a nerd. I play video games every once in a while, but most of the time I'm playing soccer. So it was interesting learning a different point of view. I, th I felt the beginning was uh, fairly slow. Um, he didn't really get the time to say what he needed to say, I could tell. Thank you, Kevin, for being on the show. Uh, my expectations in going to face the H were to be able to articulate what my, my brand was and what I do um, in a way that somebody else would understand. Um, I feel like my expectations were beyond met. Um, I had my chance to, to speak and I feel very confident now about my brand, even more so that I can convey who I am. I learned a lot about uh, being able to convey what I'm trying to say. Uh, sometimes you can get a little uh, convoluted and you can get a little uh, wrapped up in uh, terminologies that are specific for you know who and what you do. Um, but portraying that to somebody who's not part of the culture or may not you may not know as part of the culture is, is, uh, is eye-opening and enlightening and trying to, to learn different uh, vocabulary and vernacular is, uh, is really helpful to to get across your point. I feel like uh, I feel like this was a great experience and uh, you know H is doing a great thing. Like this is really helpful to to him and uh, everybody else. Harrison, thanks for having me and I really appreciate the experience. Hello everybody, this is H. If you liked this video, please subscribe. Um, the next video is right here and the previous video is right here. Thank you.